ignore the bandana. My glasses are broken and this is keeping them on so I have to wear it. In this video, I'm going to be adopting my new baby rats. I already made an, like a little intro to this but I deleted it because it's gross and annoying and awkward. Here's that video. It's gonna be kind of long because it's over like a few days of like preparing for them and then actually getting them. Yeah. So I don't get paid for a week. I think I get paid on the on the 17th, I'm pretty sure, of December. So a week before Christmas. I'm getting rats, hopefully three. So there was this girl with a female group and a male group and I'm pretty sure she has some left in her male group. The first thing I have to do when I get paid is order the cage and order all the accessories. I already have some accessories that I don't use for my hamster that I'm going to be using for them. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's all I've been able to talk about for the past like week. I'm going to show you the supplies that I already have. I'm just going to be free roaming them in my bathroom because my room just has too much stuff in it. This is going to be their little dig box. I have to fill it up with some more of this coconut soil stuff. I have some wheat, wheat, wheat grass in here. I'm not gonna give them all of this but I'm just keeping it in here so it stays alive and I've been watering it. And then I'm gonna put it in, I have a green one of these. These are just like shelves or drawers from a shelf and I'm gonna put it in a green one instead of the red one. And then I have some orchard grass hay. I'm gonna be putting in the bottom with aspen shavings. I already have a giant bag of aspen shavings. And then I also have this tube for my bathroom. I'm also getting them a green one for their cage, but I didn't want to put a blue one in their cage. These are just the night angel tubes that like come out really long, but it's really loud and obnoxious and they're perfect size for rats. And then I have this duct tape that I thought I could use for tricks when I do eventually get to training them. I wanted to save this though. And then I have a bendy bridge just to use as a little hideout. And then I have this. I just like it because it's hanging and I feel like they would probably like chewing on this. Oh, and then I have some sprays. I have this millet, this, what is this? I think this is wheat, another millet. And then I think this is millet. It's like fuzzy millet. Don't know what it's called. And then an oat spray. I'm not gonna put these all in their cage. Just like one of them, maybe like once a week. We have another wooden chew with some like loofah. We have some whimsy chews left over. My hamster has the alligator one. And then I have this little like willow thing, uh, just a plain wooden block. And then I'm sure you've seen this in pet stores or I mean in Petco, it's just a little ladder thing. I could like put this on here. Uh. And then I have a pine cone. I could like shove some food in there. Another tiny little pine cone. Two of these little pumpkin guys. I have no idea what material they're made out of. They kind of feel like lava ledges. So yeah, that's all I have for them right now. I'm also going to be making them some foraging toys out of paper towel or toilet paper rolls. So I have a few more things and I also made a few more things. So I'm going to show you. So this is just a Mountain Dew box as you can see and I just cut off both of the little closing flap things and I decided not to free roam in my bathroom just because I feel like it would just be easier not to have to like carry them to the bathroom. I was gonna get those little like storage grid. What are they called? I don't know. They're like little squares and they connect together but they're really expensive and I would have to get a lot to make it like two levels so that they couldn't jump out. I looked up how to make my own and I saw Shadow the Rat made her own playpen thing out of cardboard boxes, so I decided to copy that and I'll show you what it is and like what it looks like, I guess. I'll also put the video that I got it from on the screen in case you want to make your own too, because I think it's honestly a really good idea. So it's just a bunch of cardboard boxes that I broke down and taped together. It took a really long time, but... Yeah, it's huge. Like, you can see this whole space. And I use it for my hamster, too. Yeah, I just think it's really cool. And then I'm gonna put a blanket down, because since I'm getting boys, they're gonna scent mark, and I don't want pee all over the ground. And I can just fold it up and put it right there. So this is where the rat cage is going to go. And I just cleared out this space, and I moved one of my shelves over there. Okay, I measured it out. It'll fit here. And then in this little thing that I'm gonna be putting in the cage, I think I showed you this. If not, yeah, just this little green basket I'm gonna be hanging in their cage. So I made this little foraging toy. I also tried to make those like bird 
style forging toys with just some cardboard and toilet paper rolls. There's cardboard on the bottom and the top and then yeah I can put some bedding or something in there and hide some treats in there. Here's another one. It's just a little smaller and this is just twine so it's safe for them. And then I have another one of those. It's the same as this one. It has a bunch of toilet paper tubes inside of it but I just kind of I snipped little things and then closed them up so that it would be harder for them to get to the food. And then I made one more thing but I'm gonna have to wait till it's done to show you. Maybe I can just show you right now. So I figured I would do a little haul sort of thing of the things that I've gotten so far for the rats. So the first thing, I think I mentioned that I was getting one of these. It's a, it's the same thing as the Bluetooth. It's a green one by Night Angel from Amazon. And then I also got this water bottle. I'm not sure what the brand is. It's a chicken, chicken coop water bottle. If you just search that up on Amazon, you can find it. And these don't drip at all because of the way that this thing is. You have to move this. When they lick this the water comes out and i like this because even though it's not clear so you can't see the inside which kind of sucks but this part lifts up you can refill it that way this part comes out super easily so you can wash this easily i'm also getting a different one but that one's not going to be here for like a week i got this hammock which is super soft i think i'm going to wash it before i get the wraps just so that it absorbs pee a little better it's a what are these called like it has three layers. I think it's called like a triple level hammock. Green and then there's brown on the inside. All of this stuff is from Amazon. And then I got another hammock which the inside matches the inside of this one. It's just one of those like $3 Petco ones but I thought it was cute. Since I am getting four rats, I think four rats, then I feel like it would be good to have two different hammocks and also even if I do just end up using one. I can have like a spare one while I'm washing one of them to put this in. I showed you this basket. It's like a lime green kind of. You can't really tell what color it is on this. But yeah, it's like lime green. So I got this more green one. And inside I just put some t-shirt scraps from like a green-ish shirt. And some toilet paper to make it a little more cozy. And then the last thing that I got is this bag of rat food. It's just the adult rat food by oxbow i didn't want to take a risk and try a different rat food because this one i know a lot of people like it a lot of people use it and they don't have any issues with it that's all that i've gotten in the mail so far the cage is coming tomorrow it's wednesday night so it's coming tomorrow which is thursday since it's christmas on saturday in two or three days and christmas eve on friday i have to wait till monday to get my rats because i work sunday during the day. I work Monday during the day too, but the woman said Monday would work better. At like 5.30, we're gonna meet somewhere in the middle between us and I'm gonna pick up the babies. So yeah, when I get the rest of my haul stuff, rest of my rat stuff, I'll show you. I'm thinking I'm also going to include like a little week update after I've had them for a week. Probably not gonna show the process of building the cage because I'm gonna be doing it with my mom and that's just awkward and it might be kind of stressful but i will show setting up the cage i was thinking of getting coroplast to use as like a bedding catcher but i'm thinking i'm just gonna use the cardboard from the critter nation box because it's a giant box and there's gonna be enough cardboard and using that and probably covering the whole thing in duct tape to kind of deter them from chewing it a little bit and eventually i'll get coroplast but it is kind of expensive the box is free with the cage so yeah, I'll check back in with you maybe tomorrow. So I decided to try and build this by myself. So here's the bottom part. Yeah, I honestly think I'm going to be able to do this by myself. Okay, sorry for the lighting, but the cage is finally built. It took forever. I didn't film any more of it because my mom and brother had to help me because it proved to be very difficult. And there is like a little grid thing that goes here, but I decided not to put that in so I could have... A little more storage room. Yeah, now I'm gonna set it up.
This is another thing I got from Amazon by Night Angel. It's just a little net hammock thing. Also, this little igloo. Then I got these little wooden perches. I'm also getting some lava ledges. This foraging toy for vegetables and like bigger treats. This is also super tiny. I was expecting it to be way bigger. So where does their bedding and stuff go? Here. I'm gonna use the cardboard from that to like put little barriers so that the bedding doesn't just fall out. Yeah. Well, this is what I have so far. I have to fill up space in the middle, but this is what it's looking like. We have the two baskets, the little bridge, perches, two hideouts, tube, hammock. Yeah. Okay, so here is the cage mostly finished. I couldn't make it like fit here, like it wouldn't stay up, so I just tied it to the outside. I also added in this little hammock. I am going to be getting some two different ropes to put across the cage to help them get to, you know, each place. And I also put a whimsy chew. I broke it up and put it around. I scattered some food around, but I'm also going to be including two little food dishes just to make sure that they are eating when they first get here. I hung that up in the middle like a little disco ball. And then I hung up this chew toy, that one back there. And there's some pine cones, this little wooden block, and yeah, just a few different chew toys in here. This one, I'm actually pretty happy with this for it being my first whoa, rat cage setup. I think it's not bad, and I'm hoping that they enjoy this. Yeah, I'm gonna put up the water bottle now. Alright, I'm not gonna show myself because I did not get ready today, but um, it's the day after Christmas. I'm getting the rats tomorrow. And I changed the cage around a little bit. I hung this little foraging toy. And I changed the bottom layout a little bit. The grass is back there. Um, two baskets. Put some little shredded paper in here. I put the two ropes in. This little Choco No Drip water bottle from Amazon. Water bottle's right there. Yeah, both hammocks are here. And then I hung this up on the side so that they could climb up it and I did order a few things that are coming to help fill my cage a little bit and I have this empty to fill up with more rat stuff when I get it and then I have their bedding over there this little shelf with some stuff um I kept this and the tray in case I ever want to put it in and then I also got an air purifier for Christmas because that was like one of the only things I asked for yeah and I just have it between my hamster and my ratties and then up there I just have some storage. I have the boxes and things for their playpen and stuff. I'm gonna put this in for like, I don't know, just for them to sleep with. Don't mind the incense. I'm giving this to my boyfriend because I can't light incense in my room because of my pets. This is the playpen blanket. I'm not gonna leave it up here, but it's just there for now. And then I tied this toilet paper so that they could pull toilet paper in. I got this mini fridge. It's like a mini mini fridge. And I'm just keeping some veggies in there for them. I prepped a bunch of veggies for the week and then this is for the rats and this is for my hamster. Hey, so I was supposed to get my rats today. I worked all day. So excited to get my rats. My mom picked me up because she was going with me because, you know, Craigslist. We drove all the way to the town closest to us where we were going to meet to the pet smart and we waited for about 40 minutes i texted him i called him the person with the rats and then finally he was like 
I got called into work, sorry. So I was like, okay, well, when can I get the rats then? Like, hello? <laughs> so hopefully my mom is going to pick up the rats on her way home from work on Wednesday. So in two days, she's going to meet him at PetSmart and get the rats and bring them home to me. So we're just going to pray that he shows up. I don't know, I'm very upset. I cried. I was really sad because I wanted to get the rats. There's one rat. carrier this is some of their old bedding and toilet paper that they had in their old house so yeah i just gotta figure out which one is gonna get which name um this is a shark that they came in it's super cute i gotta find a spot to put it there they are hi guys oh oh looks like someone found a treat <gasps> hi Okay, I have the flash on because of the lighting in my room. It's just really bad. So I moved this water bottle over here just to make sure that they could, you know, because they haven't drank from the water bottles yet. I put a water dish right there because I wanted to make sure they were drinking and I did see a few of them drinking from this. And I also moved their food bowl right up to there just so that they could find it. Yeah, I kind of rearranged the cage already on the first day i know i just moved around the baskets so that it could be easier i moved this also i added this like pasta ring oh sleepy baby all right i have a few new wrap things to show you they're all up here they took the entire roll of toilet paper that was right there but my mom went and got me some baby food this chicken and gravy it's just cornstarch chicken and water and this is what the guy said that they were um like learning tricks with at their old house and then she also got me some of these puffs i'm gonna try feeding them some of this okay so since i'm pretty sure they are used to licking it off of his finger i trust that they're not going to bite me so oh good boy this is his favorite spot. And then the rest of them sleep in the other hammock. <laughs> oh yeah, my hamster bit me last night. That's what that little cut is right there. <laughs> Probably not good to cover it in baby food and have rats licking it. But yeah, I think she just got a little stressed because of the new rats and the smell in her space. And I picked her up and she bit me, which is the first time she's ever bit me. And yeah, I was bleeding a lot. It was pretty nasty. They seem to really love this. <gasps> Good. I can feel his little belly. This is really cute. Good. Yeah. You can do it. My arm's getting tired. Do you want some? He has the Dumbo ears. Oh. I think Dumbo ears are so cute. Look at him. But it's so cute. He looks like a baby rat still. I haven't seen them drinking from their water bottles, so I put some meat baby food on them in hopes that they'll lick that and be like, oh, water comes out of here. Ew. This is such a weird feeling. 
That is so cute. I also got some stuff from Amazon. So this is a foraging toy. And then also this little cat toy. But I've seen people use this as foraging toys. They just put their food in there. Then I also got six lava ledges. I was hoping at least one of them would be green, but none of them are green. And lastly, I got a Sputnik. Okay, so I put the Savic. What is this? Sputnik space pod. And then I put two lava ledges here and three here. Put the toy there. Um, and that there. They're all in the basket right now. That is so cute. Uh, so the video's over. Um, I've had the rats for about a week now. I'm just working on bonding with them, getting them to trust me. If you watched this whole video, thank you. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. It was a really long video. There was a lot to it. Maybe some of it was unnecessary, I don't know. But I really just wanted to capture this whole experience of getting my rats. It's been an amazing week with them. I love them so much. I'm gonna be doing a like intro where I let you, you know, you've already seen them, but I'm gonna introduce them to you and tell you their names and stuff. Yeah, so that'll be coming soon. Bye!